I am going to be trying this, um, I just shook it, um, I'm going to be trying this juice that was in the fridge overnight, or I guess all day yesterday and overnight, um, because it was left over from yesterday, so I'm going to try it, it's probably going to be a lot stronger because it sat in the fridge, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, another thing I wanted to note before it gets all dirty is last night before bed, I shined my sink. This is going to be my breakfast. Um, I just wanted to show you guys because it looks so yummy. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I have made my bed. And I have gotten dressed and combed my hair and gotten a shower. So my hair is still super wet. But... I have done my three main things. I know I said four. Um, I am going to do a five minute hot spot because look at all this clutter. It's all piled up. <laughs> so I will be doing a five minute hot spot, but I also wanted you guys to see that I hung those paintings well, with my husband's help, obviously. But what do you guys think? Do you like them? I like them. I think they bring some happiness into my room. I think they're pretty. So anyways, I'm going to do this five minute hot spot really quick. All right, five minute hot spot is complete. And my husband still has to do with that paper clutter. <laughs> but my side looks good. <laughs> um, he already went through it, but I think maybe he was unsure of what to do with some of it. So he kind of just left it there. But anyways, it looks a lot better. And it took way less than five minutes. I am working on pantry organization. Don't mind my thing. I put it there to dry. But I'm working on pantry organization. And our pantry, right now it's pulled this way. But typically it's pushed back further. So like about where that's at. Um, let me get a better angle here. Sorry. Uh, you can see it's pulled out from the wall. Because I've been, I had to pull it out in order to get to that side of the, the stuff. Well, we don't like it. Plus, sorry, this is really loud. Um, we don't like it being shoved back in that corner like that. And also, the dryer is right here. And so, we've actually had food go bad, like uh, dried beans go bad because they're around heat, which is not good. So, um, I've been trying to figure out how to reorganize this to where things won't perish, or perishable items won't perish. Um, uh, and I was very frustrated. My husband was home. My husband was home for lunch and I was telling him I wish that we could have another place for our pantry that wasn't in the uh, laundry room with the dryer because of the heat issue. And we was just playing, we said something about, you know, if there was a closet somewhere in the house, we could use a closet. And he's like, well, what about the um, hallway closet? So let me show you the hallway closet really quick. Okay. Here is the hallway closet. It has all of our games in it. It has storage totes in the back. Random things we're storing in here. Swim clothes, craft things. Um, so that's what's in here right now. So we're thinking that we could use this closet as a pantry. So I'm in the process of brainstorming and seeing if uh, this closet will actually work. It's a three foot uh, deep by two foot wide closet um, So I'm trying to figure out if we can make that work for the amount of uh, stuff we have currently in our pantry Knowing that we probably need to downsize on some of the stuff in there um, But a lot of it's really hard to get to some of it is um, like uh, Overstock so like if we run out of ketchup, we have an extra ketchup if we run out of mustard We have an extra mustard, you know that kind of stuff um, and then we have overstock like flour. Um, I usually buy flour at the Amish store and I get it in bulk. And so I'm trying to figure out a way because we don't, we actually are running low on flour and we're going to be going to get our 50 pound bag soon. Um, and I have these big tubs I store it in typically. So I'm trying to figure out a better solution for storing the flour so that it's not taking up as much space. The only solution I have thought of is possibly my aunt does this. She puts her flour. She makes tons of breads. Oh, she just, it's so good. But anyways, <laughs> um, she puts her flour into gallon Ziploc bags and puts it, I think, in a cooler or something um, to stay so it stays nice and cool and dry. 
So, you know, it, nothing can get in there and get it and that kind of stuff. So I thought at the bottom of this closet, we could possibly put like a cooler or a tote uh, with the gallon bags in it. And that might make more sense than the current solution I have for it. Um, so I'm, I'm just thinking through all my options. <laughs> this will not be done today by no means. Um, but it is something I'm going to be working on. And I will definitely show you guys the result whenever it gets done. Maybe I'll even bring you along for the journey. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about that. I'm uh, making hamburgers for dinner. We're going to have potato salad, some broccoli cauliflower with peppers, and some beets. It's the end of day 13 here, and uh, it was a pretty good day, busy, uh, been working on looking into making this pantry work, and ran to some stores looking for some containers and different things, and it started snowing, and um, we're back home now, uh, gonna eat dinner, just kind of sit and watch some TV right before bed, um, but yeah, it was a pretty good day, and um trying to think oh I took my son to the doctor today and he got released from all his um uh, they had him on some weight restrictions and stuff for his shoulder but uh he was uh cleared to be able to lift things and so he's super excited so yeah that was a positive for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow